When it comes to liberal foolishness, there's a time to debate, a time to fight, and a time to just laugh at them. Hunter Spanier is a three-year-old preschooler in Nebraska who is apparently a danger to the community. The little guy's deaf and uses sign language to communicate, and the sign for his name, Hunter, involves pointing his little finger like a gun. School officials, believe it or not, say that violates their policy against weapons in school. Ah, Patty gets on me for calling people idiots. So we're going to skip that part and talk about how this is a symptom of a terminally bad school system. Now what's really scary is that because we've allowed the federal government to seize control of all public schools, this kind of nonsense is happening nationwide. What kind of teachers are afraid of a three-year-old deaf kid? Now if we care about our kids, then we have got to strip our schools out of the control of the feds. Uh, the way the system is now, there's so much red tape, it is impossible to get rid of bad teachers, and they quite often just flat disregard parental concerns. Not acceptable. Now this is where states' rights come in. The U.S. Constitution does not permit the feds to get involved in public education. But hey, don't let the law get in the way of the liberal agenda. No, wait, I have a better idea. Let's let the law get in their way. The Constitution is supposed to be a leash around the necks of power-hungry government. Each of our 50 states needs to seize control of education in their states. The federal monopoly has got to go, and if they want to fight about it, then they'll have to explain the lousy education they've been giving our kids. The liberal agenda in America is to pull America down in the name of fairness. To the liberal mind, it's not fair that the United States is so much more prosperous than other nations, or that our military is much stronger than others, or that American children used to get a better education than other countries. The liberal agenda is to pull these things down and force America into mediocrity. And that, my friends, is a crime against our children. Well, here's a wild bill bullet of truth for American education. Children should be protected from idiots, not taught by them. Don't tell Patty I said that. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and God bless America again.